What's up guys? Today we have an epic opening of Champion Pack 3. We have 10 packs. These are not heavy or light. I bought them unweighed, so the chances are pretty low that they actually have a foil in them because it's about 1 in 12 per pack anyway. But we're going to try and get one. The foils in this set are insane. They're super valuable. But before that, the giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. You have an original Nobleman of Crossout, Insect Queen Secret Rare from the 10, and a Horus Secret Rare. So all you got to do, like the video, be subscribed, and let me know your favorite card from Champion Pack 3 or any of the Champion Pack sets. All right, let's get into this. We have 10 packs. So the cards we're looking for, you can pull Gravekeeper Spy, you can pull Spirit Reaper, you can pull Snipe Hunter, you can pull all that stuff. The Ultra Rare in here is not as valuable. The Magicians Unite. We have actually opened this up before. You guys can check that out. It's a pretty nice set. We opened up all heavy packs last time, so I got a ton of different foils. It was really cool. So this time I bought these from one of you guys, so maybe we'll get lucky and pull one foil. The chances being one in 12, not necessarily unweighed. He said they were, but you know, you never know where they came from or you know what the guy before him did or whatever. But we're just gonna try it out. There's only three cards per pack. We can also pull the DD Assailant as a rare, so that would be a nice pull as well. I think it's worth like eight or nine dollars. So let's go ahead and open this up. We're only going to have 30 cards in this video because there's three per pack. So I think the foil's at the front. So let's try not to spoil it. We'll figure it out on this first pack. I've not opened champion pack in a bit. So uh, we used to open a ton of these. But they're pretty uh, pretty rare now. Pretty rare, pretty valuable. The foils are pretty expensive. Let's see if it's... Okay, it is backwards. Let's see where the foil is. Is the foil or whatever, the the rare or whatever, is it on the back? Okay, Necro Valley. It's actually a pretty nice common. So let's see what we can get in here. Necro Valley. Kaiba Man is a common. You're not even guaranteed. No, you are guaranteed a rare in champion pack. You're not in tournament pack, but you are in champion. The Agent of <laughs> the agent of Judgment, Saturn. Not the Agent of Saturn. So that is a rare. So we'll sleeve that up because it is a champion pack card. Still a nice card, even though it is a rare. So what I'm hoping for is one foil. One foil does us really good because the Gravekeeper Spy and the uh, the Spirit Reaper, that's a very expensive card, so hopefully we can pull one. The chances are pretty low, though. Pretty low to find unscaled champion packs. We're going to try. All right, one pack down. Hope you guys enjoy this old school opening. Yeah, we're, we're going straight into the old school. Um, we've been doing some old school box breaks, but I personally haven't been able to open anything old school since I think the LOB... I'm trying to think. Have we opened anything since LOB Booster Box? That was personally my... I think probably was but it hasn't been as much so okay that goes to the back here we go a feather of the phoenix fairy drag isn't this wait this might be a decent card i think this is a decent card one sec yeah this card's worth like a couple of dollars so that's actually a pretty good common to get and dd assailant so that's the best rare in the set so a nice common and a nice rare so a pretty good pack overall check these out Champion pack three. Always good to pull some good cards. I, I've never pulled a DDS Salem because when we opened the, or I've never pulled it out of champion pack because when we opened champion pack three, we only opened the heavy packs. So this time we're opening some unweighed. So we actually get some cards we didn't get. So a feather from the Phoenix. All right. So we got the best common and the best rare in one pack. So that's pretty good. So now let's try and get a super rare. Even if we get the worst one, I think it's Dark World Lightning. It's still worth like $50 or something. So still a good, a nice card to get. I wonder, actually, I think it's the worst, and then Magicians Unite is actually after that, even though it's an ultra rare. But that's still a really cool card. Magicians Unite looks really good. So this card, this is ripping up really weird. Let's see if I can get these out. Okay, good. All right, let's put this to the back. These are very uh, glossy cards, kind of, on the back. The front is pretty normal, pretty matte. You can see it. Okay, Contract of the Abyss. Another Fairy Dragon. We'll take that, and... Gold Woo Lord of Dark World, a nice rare. That's pretty cool. The Woo Lord of Dark World. And then we got, of course, the Fairy Dragon. Really good. We will sleeve that up because it is over $2. It's pretty solid value for a common. All right, we still have seven packs. So we're taking our time a little bit because we have less packs, less cards to see, stuff like that. So we're, gonna, we're not going to try and uh, speed through these. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but this is going to work out fine. So let's go like this. I have a ton of these still light packs. I still have a ton of them. These could or could not be light, but the other ones I know are light because we scaled out the other heavy packs when we opened them up. So here we go. We have a Contract with the Abyss. Chiron the Mage. It's a nice card. I remember I used this in a Popcorn deck in Duel Links a couple years ago. It was actually really good. It was really fun. 
Another gold woo lord of Dark Lord. A dark, dark world. Okay. Yeah. We're falling apart here. Nice. Okay. Nice rare. Not a foil, but that's okay. Okay, we're on the mage. So far, let's look at the variety of commons. So, not too much. There's a lot less cards in these kind of sets because they obviously only give you three cards per, per pack. So, they're not going to have like 200 cards per set or whatever. Okay. Here we go. Finally. That was a very, very strong one right there. Here we go. Wild Nature's release. Wait, have we seen that one? Maybe once? BES Crystal Core. I haven't, we haven't seen that one either. DD Assailant. Another DD Assailant. That's pretty good. It does have a little nick at the top, unfortunately. Still pretty nice condition, it looks like, other than the very top. So, yeah. hard. Maybe not a near mint because of that. It is close, though. It's pretty close with just that nick. But that would be like a near mint. If you sold it as near mint, you would need to disclose that it's nicked at the top. Okay. Five more packs. We're halfway through. No foil. Kind of expected. I mean... It is very, it's very unlikely to find an unweighed champion pack, but we're going to go for it anyway. We're going to see if we can possibly pull something. Oh, okay. There we go. Three cards. Necro Valley. Here we go. Gravekeeper's cheap. That's the first time we pulled that one. Let's pull, uh, let's pull a nice, uh, spy. Let's just do it. Pikaru Circle of Enchantment. The, the trap. Ew, not the one we're looking for. <laughs> oh well, we did get uh, we did a couple great keepers cards. Nice. The Necro Valleys are nice. They're probably worth a little bit. Four more packs. Champion pack. Can we pull? This would be one of the more exciting champion pack pulls because in the other ones I knew I had foils. I've never pulled a champion pack foil when I didn't expect a foil. So that would be pretty exciting. I have done it with tournament pack. We've had uh, some unweighed packs there, but we've not done it with champion pack. Fairy Dragon, nice start. Another one. Wild Nature's Release and Widespread Ruin. Okay, a different one. Widespread Ruin, pretty cool. This was originally a game, uh, not a Game Boy, but a game promo. I don't know if it was a Game Boy promo or not. I can't remember exactly which one it was. It was no, it was the Xbox. Was it in uh, Dawn of Destiny, I think? Yeah. So uh, these champion packs are were given out during tournaments. So if you were playing in a tournament at your locals, they were given out. I, champion pack 3 was probably around 2007, something like that. Maybe. I'm just guessing, completely guessing. I think CPO1 was... It might have been earlier than 2007, actually. Think about the cards in here. Let's see. Gravekeepers. Hmm. I can't remember. It's something like that. I'll probably try and pop it up on the screen so you guys can see it. All right. We have a Gravekeeper's Chief. A Feather of the Phoenix. And another DD Assailant. So we're not pulling any foils. But we will take the triple DD Assailant. That's the best rare in the set. That's a good one. All right. Two more packs. Of champion pack three can we get some good all right don't forget to do the thing and ruin it all right perfect oh that one was nice and clean nice and clean there that one's got some stuff on the back watch this will be a foil watch this <laughs> i'd still take it though i'd still take it all right we got Kyra on the mage wild nature's release and hit the like button for luck guys okay it's just peekaroo it's <laughs> just peekaroo it's fine just a peekaroo. That is not a big deal. Okay, we can't get this leaker. There we go. Okay, final pack. Final pack magic. Can we pull something good? Likely we bought a bunch of light packs, but that's okay. It was a good time. It was enjoyable. Maybe next time we'll get something good. All right. Here we go. Final pack. Got to take the risk to pull something epic. Here we go. We have the Kaiba Man. Haven't seen him since the beginning. Is that a good sign? Come on. Necro Valley. Nice pull. Here we go. We lure of Dark World. All right. All rares. As expected, but that's okay. It was a good time. If we had pulled something, it would have been super exciting. But we actually pulled pretty, pretty well, I think, for the rares. I mean, we pulled 
Three DD Assailants is really awesome. All right, so we really didn't get too much, but we did get three Fairy Dragons, which were worth a couple bucks each, and then three DD Assailants. So we definitely did not make our money back on this, for sure. But we did get some nice cards out of it. Also, if you guys are interested in a light CPO 3-pack, one that has been weighed and there's not a foil in it, for sure, and you guys can hit me up. I do have several CPO 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 packs that are all weighed light, so you won't get a foil. But if you want them for your collection, hit me up. So... That was a fun opening. Maybe next time we'll get a foil. And if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe because we are almost at 60,000. We are really, really close. If we hit that, we'll open up all the 2005 10s in one video. It's going to be insane. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Oh! Yes. Oh. Elemental Hero, Dark Bright. Boom! Oh! <laughs>